Hello and welcome once again to Tech Talk with Sean. I'm Sean and in this episode, we're going to touch upon NDI, Network Device Interface. Hello again and welcome to part two of my live streaming video tutorial series. First, I need to apologize to those of you who are expecting the OBS Studio tutorial in this video. I'm really sorry, but I think it's important that I introduce you folks to NDI first, so that when I talk about using NDI in your live stream, you will have a better understanding of it. NDI, Network Device Interface, is an open protocol developed by NewTek to enable video compatible products to share video across a local area network or LAN. NDI allows multiple video systems to identify and communicate with one another over IP and to encode, transmit, and receive many streams of high quality, low latency, frame accurate video and audio in real time. This fairly new protocol can benefit any network connected video device, including video mixers, graphic systems, capture cards, pretty much any kind of computer, and many other production devices. NDI can operate bi directionally over a local area network, meaning they can send and receive data at the same time with many video streams on a shared connection. Its encoding algorithm is resolution and frame rate independent, supporting 4K and beyond, along with 16 channels, even more, of floating point audio. Now that's the definition and explanation that NDI have on their website. In simple words, NDI enables you to create and receive video sources. Receive NDI video sources in numerous programs like OBS Studio, vMix, Resolume, QLab, Easy Worship, Pro Presenter, etc., to name just a few. If that is too much to understand, I thought I'd explain what I do with NDI, and the best way to explain that is by showing you. The most important thing you need is the free NDI tools from the NDI website. You can download NDI for Mac or Windows. NDI has more tools for Windows than Mac OS. I'm going to cover only some of these tools especially the ones that I need. So the NDI tools are a package of many things. NDI Studio Monitor, NDI Scan Converter, NDI Virtual Input, NDI VLC Plugin, NDI Test Patterns, NDI HX Driver, NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud, NDI Access Manager, NDI Import I.O. for Adobe Creative Cloud. I'll demonstrate the Scan Converter, the NDI Studio Video Monitors, because on Windows it is called Studio Monitor, while on the Mac it is called Video Monitor, and the NDI VLC Plugin for Windows. What the scan converter does is make any laptop or PC into a video source available on the LAN. In case you're wondering about my LAN in particular, check out part one of this tutorial series. The link is in the description below. So let me demonstrate these three tools. The scan converter and NDI VLC plugin, I'll demonstrate on my PowerPoint Windows PC first. And then on my MacBook that I use for Skype, I will show you the use of the video monitor. So let's move now to my PPT laptop. I have already opened Scan Converter. When you open Scan Converter, you may not see it. But if you come down to your taskbar and show the hidden icons, you'll see the NDI Scan Converter. If you right click on it, you will see some of the settings. The frame rate, I'm using 25 frames. The capture settings, in case you want to capture only a particular part of your screen. The audio source, right now I'm not recording any audio from this computer. A webcam source, if it has a webcam, the various webcam sources from this computer. The audio when you're using a webcam source. And KVM, that is in case you want to control this computer from another computer. So we have NDI uh, scan converter already running on this machine. Remember I told you about the VLC NDI plugin? Well, we can route the output of VLC to NDI by going into the Tools, Preferences, Video, Output, and selecting VLC's output to the NDI Video Output. I'll run a video now, and you can control the video by using the usual transport buttons at the bottom. You won't see any video, 
but we can let it play and minimize it. It's a loop anyway. I have already opened PowerPoint and one of their templates. Let me now switch so that you can see the primary and the secondary displays. On the top left, you will see my primary laptop display and on the bottom right is my secondary extended display. Now I'm going to start the PowerPoint presentation so that it projects to the secondary display. Now you can easily go through your presentation by selecting whichever slides you need to, just the usual way you use it. Now using NDI, we have created three different sources, the primary display, the secondary display, and the VLC video that we were playing earlier. To check the availability of these three NDI sources, let's jump to my third laptop, the MacBook Pro, which I use with Skype. Now to check this out, I will open the NDI Video Monitor app. In the NDI Video Monitor, if you go to File, you will see the various NDI sources available. The Rave Notebook has three sources, Intel Display 1, Intel Display 2, and VLC. Selecting Display 1 shows us the primary display of the PPT laptop. Selecting the next Intel source will show us the projected or secondary display of the laptop. And of course, selecting the third source, which is the VLC video, we will see the VLC video playing from the laptop. I hope I managed to give you some understanding about NDI. I may have mentioned in my earlier video that NDI gives its software development kit royalty free to developers to integrate native NDI technology within their hardware and software products. Nowadays, you get quite a few NDI equipped network cameras. There's even an NDI app for iOS. That's where the NDI HX driver comes in. There used to be an Android app, but it's no more available on the Play Store. However, with a little bit of searching, you could find that AP key. The NDI camera app allows you to make your mobile phone an NDI source with low latency. But you need to be on a 5 GHz wireless network to get the best results. In conclusion, with three computers, I can generate quite a few video sources using NDI and all of it without any extra hardware or at least buying any new expensive hardware. And that, folks, is NDI for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified on my next video, which will be part three of this tutorial series, where I will actually show you how I use OBS Studio to stream. Until then, take care and stay safe.